Hi, I've been nominated to represent the School of Arts and Humanities at the RCA and present my work to Sir Jonathan Ive. The session's not going to be recorded, so I decided to make my own recorded session so I could um, present it to you and share it wider. So let me just um, go to the screen share. So I spent last term completing this artist book. It's called, I touch this with my hand, I touch that with my eye. In this process, I was developing a specific visual language, looking at residue and waste in relation to our urban environment, abandoned sites and new ruins. David Campany wrote an essay as an afterword for the book. He writes, it's no surprise that adolescents and artists enjoy such spaces. When you're questioning the world and your place within it, and when you're wondering how and if the world could be other than the way it is, such spaces are bound to be attractive. They are, as the current jargon would have it, temporary autonomous zones, where society's rules are not applied with the usual rigor. As a response to the book and as a continuation of that project, I created an installation which speaks to the surface materiality of our built environment, how paint and entropy in these places remind us of time passing, histories and our own mortality. I was also interested in creating a place which held similar sensibilities to the abandoned and derelict structures that I'd been visiting as part of my research. So the following video is the documentation that I made of the um, installation and taking lead from David Campany's essay, I titled it Temp uh, Autonomous Zone. It's got the sound that I recorded in situ and electronically produced music. It is intentionally quiet, so you may want to turn up the volume. created four spaces using various painted and printed surfaces as walls and different lighting to affect the mood and the visual perception. The whole installation was made up of materials and found objects which I've previously collected or created. This was a way of me thinking through ideas about how a sense of belonging can be realised and to create a place where everything or anything can belong. I stacked and grouped materials and also carefully arranged certain objects in a methodical order and imagining these objects as possible portals, tombstones or relics. Whilst also thinking about how we order and navigate our own personal space and how we nest and comfort ourselves, surrounding ourselves with stuff. My intention was that the space should feel activated to give the sense that something may, may have taken place, maybe minutes, hours, or even years before. I aim to curate the work in an open-ended way. Even when I deemed the piece finished, it still had the feeling of being in a state of flux. And this produced a certain oddness or uncertainty about the place, which kind of satisfied me. This state of flux or unfinishedness seems really timely, but hopefully also leaves space 
for the viewer to project their own ideas into the piece, much in the way that a ruin allows us to imagine what might have been and metaphorically travel both forwards and backwards in time. So thanks for watching the presentation. Get in touch if you've got any questions. All the best.